Hey everybody, Paperclip here again. Going to be playing some more EU4 today in the Animal Kingdom, uh, where we are on the cusp of some rebel issues. There's not much we can really do about them where we currently stand either, so we're just trying to raise maintenance to hopefully deal with them. There we go. So 12,000 with a three fucking three general. That's pretty bad actually. So let's see. I really don't want to roll our king. We really don't have much of an option though. If we roll our king, we could face a very long regency. Oh, we might just have to eat eat this penalty. So I'm thinking we're gonna have to get another loan. And get a merc up. Because we're going to need a lot of troops here. Now I'm hoping to be the one on the defensive. Let's go down to speed 3, just so as soon as he moves, I can hopefully pause on that exact day and beat him to wherever he's going. So we'll be there on the 9th, he'll be there on the 10th. Yes, so we will be the defender in the jungle. So that'll be good. Alright, hopefully we roll well here. Uh, what do you make? Cotton? Nah, just take that. Oh, but we just granted you charters. And suddenly, they're perfectly fine with it. And we're killing more people, but it looks like they are winning the battle. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Kachar. I think that little extra boost from Kachar is going to be what we need to actually get rid of these rebels. Yep, looks like this is going to go in our favor. Perfect. Thank you so much, Kachar. You're great. Um, this guy. Get the hell out of there. You know what? Just disband where you're at. Let's go ahead and take two of these guys. Consolidate you. And we're still over the force limit, so we should probably get two more of these guys and consolidate them. There we go, now we're at the force limit. So hopefully we don't lose a ton of money. We're still losing money as it stands. Mainly because of reinforcements. This one still has outrageous autonomy, but it's a pretty, it's not really that great of a province, so I'm not even really that worried about it, to be honest. Stability is kind of low. We might, I think we will get enough to fully reinforce the army. We might have to, I think I already demanded yeah, I did. Damn. Um, we can't give them 20 influence. We could revoke that. How much influence are they at? We still can't give them 20 influence. Damn. Damn. 
damn. So money's not horrible. There we go. So like this, we make a little bit of money. Just a little bit, not a lot. So Kachar is very friendly of us. So D and Ava are still doing fine. I need to be logged onto Steam to view achievements. I am. Oh, uh, there we go. Now it's online. I just want to make sure <clears throat> we're on the right track. What is this one called? Something, 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 I can't remember. Um, Animal Kingdom. These are in alphabetical order, right? Oh, it goes by V. Okay. All provinces in region Bengal owned by Manipur or its subjects and is animist. Yep, so we are on track to get that. We only owe three, apparently, in the Bengal region. Maybe just because these are animist. Is this the Bengal region? Manipur is in the Bengal region. Okay, I wasn't sure if that one was or not. Now we have eight loans, so we have a lot of loans. I would rather get rid of some of these loans. They're expensive. Let's start converting that one as well while we're at it. That makes us a little bit more money. We've got a good amount of things getting animist. We have 80% religious unity. So far so good. No more chance of rebels or anything. I'm glad that was only 12,000 too. I was thinking that was going to be more like a 14, 15 stack. Hmm. Who should our next target be? Should we just go for Bengal again? We could. I mean, if we could get even just this one province, that would, or even just these two. Although I think he's probably going to take at least these three, and probably that one too. I don't think he'll take this one. Because it would take him a while to court, I believe. Though Bengal could be, yeah, they, they're just low enough to where if you get full war score against him, you could annex Bengal. Though I doubt he'll get enough war score to do that. Corruption is going down, so we could we could stop brooding it out, so that way we at least make money. And I'd rather not have growing corruption. Fine. Pay 13 ducats a month to maintain corruption. It's not getting better, but it's not getting worse. I don't really think I even need this guy anymore because these rebels aren't going to spawn. Should I keep him there anyway? Maybe I should. He's giving me admin points, which I kind of need. So maybe I should just keep him there. I'm not really losing money, so we'll just keep him there for now. Balmanis are in this. They sold 
Orissa their troops, and it looks like Andhara sold Malwa troops. Interesting. Interesting. Who you allied with? Meng Yang and Hence Fei. Arakan and Lazang. I think Bengal is going to be probably the easiest target. Ooh, and he just lost. So he's sieging his capital back. I can't take more inflation. I cannot take more inflation. The points are amazing, but I cannot afford the inflation like at all. What's our total development at? 52. Not bad. Considering we started with 8. Or no, we started with like, what was that? There was like 4. We started with like 4. And now we're at 52. Not bad. Not bad. So uh, he only took one province. Wow. We could definitely do some damage on him. Delhi wouldn't even join him. What is our truce still 65? Yeah, March is 65. We have claims on everything. We could eat him for 84%. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'd like to at least get those two. To be honest, I'm probably just going to take everything though. Go big or go home, right? Unless that spawns like a coalition, then I might cut it back, but as long as that is not the case, I think I'm going to go for it. We can improve relations with Tirhut for now. Tirhut will already take an alliance with one little bit of improvement. Wow. Well, they didn't take much convincing at all, did they? basically like hey we like you cool alliance oh okay I didn't expect it to go that quickly but sure we'll do an alliance the thing is like we're really not gonna do an alliance yet cuz we're already at four, three relations too bad we're a tribal kingdom so we can only do freaking three relations I'm just happy our air is in a 2-2-2. Two, two, two. And Bengal is in our culture group too, which is a great thing. Because we accept all cultures in our nation right now. We can declare war now, can't we? Yeah, Delhi will not help him either. Raise maintenance. Two months of maintenance. That would be good enough to take out that guy, I think. I can even bring in Sadia just to be safe. How many favors do I have with you? 23. Yeah, I mean, I might as well. I'll still have enough to bring you into another war. We'll wait towards, like, the end of this month to do it. That way we get one more tick. There we go. Gotta declare, go in, take Gotta. Yeah, I know I could get more people, but I could also just not do that. It seems like an easier op option, honestly. You're just gonna chill there. You're just not gonna move.
So we basically have became Bengal for the most part. So that's actually really good for us. We really do need like a strong ally though, which is something we don't really have. I mean, we have Ava, we have Sadia, that's 17k plus Kachara's 4k and our 10k. That's uh, it's 17, it's 21, it's 31, it's 31,000. I mean, we have a decent amount, but against two good people, we couldn't really compete. It's too bad Yon Poor doesn't <clears throat> want an alliance. I'm going to try topping off relations with Yon Poor. Or even like Bamanis. No, Bamanis won't. Jeanagar maybe? No, they definitely will not. And Hara? Nah, nah, I don't think so. Maybe Malwa? Nope. Yonpur is at war with Malwa and Gondwana. Kash? No, so we're basically down to tier hood. How many troops does Tier Hut have? I'm interested. Nine thousand troops. They have a good amount of troops. Their alliance might be pretty valuable to us. I guess we're losing tax money. Because I really don't want to tank my stability again. We're already sitting in negative one, which isn't where I want to be, but the hell are you going to do? Alright, so, so far, we're doing okay. I know I could call. Oh, I could even call Eva to war, really? Huh. So that means we finally have 10 favors with Eva. Which means it might be time to go to war with Mang Yang. We could feed Kachar a good amount of his land and take Thangwadat, which is our mission, right? Yep, that's our mission. We might do that. But before we do that, we're going to make sure that we have maximum relations with him that we possibly can. That way he hopefully doesn't break our alliance after this. Because we are going to be taking lands he wants for himself. Though he wants land in the other two directions as well. We could go for Arakan. I mean, that's more coastline. Then we could just take like those two as part of the deal as well, probably. How much war score would this be? 33% for him. He's 63%. So this is 10 and 19. If we didn't co-bliterate, that'd be 38. So we'd be talking about like 75, 75-ish. It's not too bad. I definitely think we could get 75. Go ahead and lose your loyalty. I'm not losing base tax. I don't care how upset you guys get, I'm not going to let you, like, how do you make me lose base tax? I don't get that, like, I'm just going to give you more money, I'm just going to cut you, like, a tax break or something, is that what I'm doing? Because it's weird that you would lower development in a province, I don't quite understand how that happens. Was that a double disease outbreak? Oh no, it wasn't. What it is, is we don't have any manpower. So unfortunately, we might have to take out a loan just to finish this damn siege. Ah, that's bad. That's pretty bad. Come on, just get it. Ah, he didn't get it. 
Alright, so I guess we have to take out yet another loan. There we go. Thanks, buddy. Be nice if this didn't take two years. There we go. All right. How is this not a hundred percent war score? Oh, used to own that province. Okay. Well, I can go ahead and make it so that you are st just that province if that's what you want. You will accept. I could also make them. Re no, I couldn't, because I don't control that. Make them revoke their claim up there on Terhut. That could actually help us with Terhut. And we'll take 50 bucks, sure. Why not? I think I'm just going to, should I get rid of it? No, we won't get rid of it, we'll just turn the funding down. So we've eclipsed Bengal, we've declared war on Bengal, we took provinces from them, we have long time rivals. Who else can we set as a rival now? We can make Kash a rival. How does, ooh no I didn't want to do that. How do you feel about Kosh? Kosh likes him and he likes Kosh. Well, it's unfortunate. We could do Orissa. We kind of have to go to war with Orissa anyway. Who are your allies? Balmanis, Bastar, and Tirhut. I mean, Yonpur is hostile. Who could I get on my side? Tirhut is hostile because he wants some of our land. But I think I could improve his relation and sway him otherwise. Okay, I guess we're going to rival Orissa since Orissa decided to rival us. Why don't we improve relations with Ming? How about Delhi? How close are you? Eh, I don't think it's doable. Malwa would be doable if we got a positive opinion of him. He does still have Gondwana as an al as a vassal. Here we're with Yonpur, Niwat, Bagel Can, Multan, Bamanis, Mawan, Gandwana. Hmm. You're probably going to go away soon. You're probably not the best ally, actually. Well, who hates Orissa? Andhara hates Orissa. I don't think they'll accept an alliance, but. We'll go for it. I mean, stranger things have happened, right? I'm going to go ahead and just knock all of these up. Get this revolt risk as low as possible. We could boost this up twice. Try and prevent this peasants war from happening.
What is that? It's at eighty percent. Can we core these in less than twenty months? Yes. 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 And yes. So we can't core them in less than 20 months, though it's very, very close to 20 months. So we are below 50% religious unity now. We can transfer trade power from Dove now, though. How much will that help? Probably not a ton, but... Point five six is being forwarded. This actually is helping us. does indeed appear as w if we are making money off that as well. But we do have to chill a little bit after this on our own expansion. I don't think I can give any of this to him, can I? Nah, I can't. Oh well. I can't have the stability drop or this will definitely fire climb up by a bit. 0 0.02 every month. I'd like to get enough to actually get 10 freaking troops. I still think I need to get a little more powerful before I convert him or force him to convert. So I'd like to force him to convert and then give him some land so that way hopefully he will start converting it. Don't tell me I had the wrong year for this. I had the wrong year for this, I think. No, I didn't. Um, it's going to be really close, man. December, that's 94th, January, February, March, April, May. It's going gonna, it's gonna to pop. It's going to pop. There's going to be nothing I can do to stop it. Oh, boy. Only thing I could potentially do is release somebody. But there's nobody to release. Like it would have to be somebody out here. But I can't do that. We're just going to have the peasants revolt. And it's going to suck. It's going to be really bad. So we need to focus admin like now. Because we need to get this as high <coughs> as we possibly can. See, if I would have thought about that, I would have just held on to the admin points. Ah, this is going to be bad. This is going to be very, very bad. We're going to have to be corrupt for a little bit. We don't really have much of a choice. We can get rid of him and make some more money to try and fund stuff but
because this is going to fire in July. One month away. Literally one month away from being in the clear. This is going to fire. Are you serious? One pip. One pip? Go fuck yourself. What, did you just find a kid on the street and give him a general's uniform? Lose legitimacy, lose unrest, lose manpower, and for Sephardim, 20,000 peasants. National manpower plus 25%. Restrict it. See, twenty thousand freaking troops. That's pretty rough. Okay. That's really, really. Uh, what? You gotta be fucking kidding me right now. I know I just turned it on that month, but at least showed it like it was working, and it just decided it wasn't working. Ah, uh, that's really bad. I guess go try and take that guy out. Oh, free stability, that's great. I would love that. Really, that much money? Holy shit. Dude, this sucks. Alright, good. He's going into other people's lane now. I'm literally going to leave one guy here. Everybody else, get over here, like, now. Lose legitimacy. We're not losing stability because that's just going to prolong the stupid peasants war. We're not doing that. Anyway, I will see you guys next time where we continue the peasants revolt. <laughs> Until then. Oh god, I hope this one goes better than the other freaking issues we've had. Because we have such a good position if we can just hold it. I mean, the Yompor is kind of terrifying, but besides that, we're good. So... <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.